we'll be digging a little bit deeper into piping. So, as you can see here, this is our previous example um, that we did in a previous video where we just copy got all the I all the files in here and actually for some reason that escaped me but we could copy the files we copied the file we got the list of files we copied them to a different folder we moved them to another folder and then we deleted them okay so there's a, here's a few things that you need to know about pipes so as you can see this is one line and this is rather annoying <laughs> as you can see I just scrolled all the way back one thing you could do when you have a pipe is enter so here I did shift enter because it already exists if I did enter it would have just run the command but you can type a pipe do a new line and put everything after a pipe as a new line and I will show you in a minute that as you can see, I'll just press enter and it just works. <clears throat> so there's that. And let's do it again. Get child item. Just to show you, see users Carolyn desktop a folder, a folder. We want just the files. And then we do the pipe and we press enter. And now it's it's waiting for another input and we can just copy this because I'm lazy I'm just gonna copy it paste it and not have to type it again okay so now we're going to modify our code to do verbose here Oop. Sorry, sticky key. We want verbose with only one E. Don't put all the E's. We're going to put verbose here. And there we go. So, before I run this, if you want to think about it, what is going to happen? What is the expected output? So, this input comes he gets collected here, then it goes to the next one and the next one and the next one. So one thing you would expect to happen is you will do see the verbose output of copy file, copy copying copy item. Then you will see the verbose output of move item, then the verbose of output of remove item. Okay, but if we run it, sorry, this is what we see. So let me see if I can, okay, let me run it again just so you can have a much clearer. Um, oh, it's still, let me make it full screen. So CLS is to clear the, the console. So as you can see here, what's, go what's happening is it's copying the file, it's moving the file, it's removing the file and then it moves to the next file so this is all new bitmap image so what happens is the pipe will basically get the item then process everything through and then move on to the next item right so we have copy move remove copy move remove copy move remove copy move be remove so this is something that pipes do which is very practical because we will see filtering in a later video if this is a lot of data and we want to filter it out to get fewer fewer items we don't need to store all this this data and then go to the next one so imagine this takes up one, I want to say 10 gigabytes of memory. You're already digging deep and getting a lot of data. Then you, you're filtering it, and this is not a filter, will 
the filter is where object you're filtering it and then you end up with only one megabyte so it's not something you want to store in memory you don't want to store 10 gigabytes of data to get only one megabyte so this is how pipes work if you have more than one item in most cases in most uh, yeah, in most cases, it will process them one at a time and then move on to the next pipe and then start over for the next item. So this is how pipes work. They process each item one at a time through the entire pipe. So that's something to keep in mind. And uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll see how to make this command a little bit neater. So, see you in the next video. Bye.